Heading back to work after a long absence can be hard and frankly a little intimidating. Did your industry change in the time you've been gone and what sort of salary is waiting for you now? Plus, do you need to brush up on your skills? Joining us this morning to talk about all of that and offer some tips for anyone re-entering the market is public speaking coach Lauren Ferrero. Welcome back to your Hi, morning. thank you. Good morning. You always bring such great, great tips. So let's get started. Mm -hmm. When we talk about coming back to work after a long break, who are we talking about? Who's in that field? We usually think moms or, or dads having had uh, a child. So, you know, you have your nine months, but this could be anyone. It could be a tr career transition. Maybe you looked after someone, looked after yourself. So this could be anyone entering or starting something new. Yeah, and stats show, stats support this, right? We now know that uh, Canadian, the average Canadian is going to change jobs five to seven times in their lifetime. So they're going to need these skills at some point when you compare that to the baby boomers who held on to one job for, you know, 20 plus years. 30 years, yes, right? absolutely. So our first tip, you say, research the industry. Yes. Why is that important? Well, times change so fast, yeah. right? Like, I, my phone's old. I just got it. <laughs> <laughs> so has your industry changed? What is your industry talking about? Who are the influencers? So you got to read articles. You got to get up to, up to speed. What is going on in your industry? And what's being offered in your industry now that you might not have not even thought of? Uh, the second one is to research yourself. That one can be a little trickier. Yes. How do you do that? Ask a friend. Seriously, you have to ask them. We don't really value what we do. Or we're not really aware of our skills all the time. So someone might say, you're the most organized person I know. And you go, I am? Oh, maybe I should put that down. Mm. So ask someone else, actually. Ask colleagues, ask friends. What, what do you think my strengths are? What am I great at? If you don't so know. Once you put together this accurate picture of yourself, uh, the next thing you say is to have the right mindset. And I love this. You say, remember that you're offering your skills, not asking for a job. How does that change your approach? It's a whole different energy. When you walk into a room instead of like, you know, can I have a job? Here's what I have to offer. This is the mindset you have to walk in with. I see that you want these skills, A, B, C, and D. Here's what I have to give you. You don't want it? Okay, that's fine. And then you're off again. It's just, it's a more positive outlook as opposed to the, can I have a job? I hope I can, you know, help out. No, this is what I, what I do. This is what I offer. Here. This next exercise is really telling, but also difficult for a lot of people, which is to update your resume and update your social media. Yes, I, if I'm going to a restaurant, I'm Googling it. I'm, I'm looking it up. You have to have some kind of presence. So dust off your resume, of course, no more than two pages. Please don't put old stuff, relevant, relevant stuff, um, material, but please look at your social. Do you even have a LinkedIn page? Because I'm going there first. Hmm. I'm always gonna look you up. So if you have social, dust it off. If you don't have social, get a friend to help you get a page up. And that goes back to researching the industry. Know yes. that if someone is looking to hire you, they're looking at what you've got on your I social media. I am looking up your LinkedIn, period. I'm looking you up on social or in some sort of way. You have to have a presence of some sort. All right, last tip, be comfortable, not confident. There used to be the approach that you have to walk in and own the no. room. No, no, not anymore. The no. culture has changed. No, I'm telling you, this is changing. I, the whole confident communications, walk in confident, face your fears, ugh, it's not working. Be comfortable with what you have to offer. Tell them what you're not great at so they can get you help. The goal is I, I want to hire you. So be very comfortable answering, tell me about yourself. You've got to practice this out loud. It's not just about, oh, I'm confident. Because what does that mean? Be comfortable. Way better word. Replace it. I love that because especially as corporate culture is changing. These are good tips to have. Lauren, yes. thanks so much. Thank you. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.